I can give you a full tour because it's, um, well, not that uh, big. Uh, so we have this layer where we've just kind of, we're working on sealing this area off. We're almost there. Um, we've got some farming going on. We'll grow some trees in here, all that fun stuff. Uh, we just started building bedrooms. So these are our first six bedrooms. We have some lovely shale wall with long, uh, sorry, tower cap blocks as floor. Um, and then we've got some more dugout areas here and here to eventually um, build more bedrooms. Uh, we've got our crafting or stone working down here. Again, not a whole lot going on. We have our manager's office here. Farming's right there. Up a level, we have our dining hall and kitchens and butchering and stuff like that in here. Eventually, we'll add in cloth industry and stuff like that. And that's basically the fort at the top level. We have our trade depot. We have a general stockpile. We have some temporary stuff and some temporary, well, not temporary dugout areas, but uh, certainly areas that we're not planning on using for the fort itself. Um, we did have some uh, giant alligators on the map when we embarked, but they have left. Uh, so I do have a bunch of cave traps around just in case. But yeah, that's the fort. Brand new, like I said. We've got a population cap set at 50 at the moment, just to give myself some time to grow it a little bit. Um, yeah. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, normally uh, my stream is Monday through Friday, um, 6.30 to 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, which is 10.30 UTC. And then on the weekends, I generally do a longer stream. So, yeah. And welcome on in. Settle on in. We're going to be here a while. Unless, of course, these monster hunters that we've allowed in our fort go over and piss off the cave uh, swallow people enough to have them kill us but hopefully that won't be the case we'll see all right what was i doing i don't remember lovely bedrooms in here so yeah i think we'll build more up here i guess we can dig out down here too We'll have some bedrooms down here. Did a fresh today too. Necromancer sees you in year one. Did not go well. Oh, rough. All right. Wall. coffins. Where are we going to put our coffins? I'm just going to wait a minute while the ads run.
Sorry about that. Just had someone to help out. So yeah, my intent was not to make a completely sealed off fort, but given that the Cave Swallow people are already a problem, um, I think we'll just go ahead and do that. Alright, you know what? Uh, Godin, the weaponsmith, has given birth to a boy! Godin, where are ya? Godin is injured, of course. Uh, spouse is Etour. Uh, let's see here. She would never, under any circumstances, speak up or otherwise put forth her point of view in a discussion very easily falls into love and develops positive feelings. Well, luckily, you're already in a relationship, so that's good. Uh, she is confident under pressure, has a strong sense of duty, and often acts with compassion. She is a friendly individual and is brave in the face of imminent danger. She can sometimes act without deliberation and occasionally overindulges. Um, she does not mean be mind being outdoors, at least for a while, dreams of creating a great work of art, and personally sees competition as wasteful, silly, and values eloquence. She likes anhydrite, lead, pineapple opal, coral, giant tortoise shell, bolts, bracelets, ballista arrows, guinea fowls for their social nature, and the sight of the musical wonders. When possible, she prefers to consume bonobo, guppy, cherry wine, and dwarven wheat flour, and absolutely detests purring at maggots. Who doesn't? Let me ask. And if you do like purring maggots, well... I guess I don't want to know. Alright. Now that we're done making rock salt blocks, let's make rock blocks and we'll just make a bunch. <clears throat> Alright. Tower cap blocks have been made. Pop, pop. I guess. Really should get my um, get a tavern going too.
funny. I thought I had paused it. Whoops. Just want to make sure none of these are up at the surface, right? No, they're all right there. Okay. All right, so we still have dead bodies in here. We should do something about that. Oh, well, we have our tomb. So, furniture, burial, bop. Bop, 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 and bop. And then tomb. Actually, let's go into chores here. Children, no body hauling. Swords dwarf or a spear dwarf, huh? <coughs> All right, fine. Apparently, we're just going to be a fort of monster slayers. It's fine. All right, one of those reindeer grew into a bull, right? How are we doing on food? All right. Oh, we're out of drink. Well, let's solve that problem. Also, we'll process plants. Nobody can dwarf? Try again. You may have a dwarf. What would you like? We have now four monster slayers. We have five children, and, or one, four children and one baby. Uh, a bearded farmer, huh? Um, so we have Tosid and Edim. Edim's kind of pissed off, so let's go with Tosid. 
Darth Torlin. Art is life. Uh, doesn't mind a little tumult. Uh, and discord in day-to-day -day living. Does not easily hate or develop negative feelings. Um, tends to hang on to grievances and can occasionally lose focus on the matter at hand. He often feels discouraged and is quite polite, though he is troubled by this natural tendency in himself since he finds dignified society to be stifling and silly when properly considered. He tends to avoid crowds and does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity, and he is conflicted by this as he values artwork and its creation. He is slow to trust others and can handle stress. Uh, likes working outdoors and grumbles mildly, only mildly, at inclement weather. Uh, dreams of mastering a skill and per personally thinks working hard is an abject idiocy and seems that and sees those that attempt to maintain dignified and proper behavior as vain and offensive. Uh, likes pudding stone, fine pewter, tiger iron, paradise nut, wood, green glass, millstones, scepters, donkeys for their stubbornness, the words of the embraced tresses, and the sound of the verse of silkiness, and the sight of, wi of the wispy poet. When possible, he prefers to consume giant tapir and sand pear cider. Absolutely detests purring maggots like everybody should. Uh, Phil... Human Axeman. The problem with admitting human axemen or humans as as um, monster slayers is they have a habit of needing clothing that is not the right size. But you know what? We've said yes to a bunch of dwarves, so we'll say yes to that one. All right. I didn't actually finish building this bedroom. It's fine. Or that, or those bedrooms for that matter. Bed. to build like a real tavern. Got this dining hall over here. You bl wrote your blog for today? <laughs> nice job. Summer we go. tables and rock thrones rock coffers and rock cabinets
really is a case of I don't know how much I want to build out here so like I don't want to build a bedroom that's gonna end up getting in the way but maybe if we just dig out a little bit it'll be fine All right, three and six is nine. This is an inn. We need a tavern keeper. Head him. Don't want to intimidate her. should make some rock goblets or mugs rather and this can be for citizens and long-term residents <clears throat> oh and I wanted to do something different here uh, so we're actually gonna Get rid of that, and then we'll do a dining hall. A dining
dining hall. And that's going to be associated with the barricaded garnishes. 